All right, so get this. Before the situation between Paul and Tyson got heated, there's been some crazy talk going around about a supposed sparring session between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul that happened around one year ago. Before all the insults and the disrespect that later happened. I'm gonna make Mike my girlfriend. It's wild the amount of people that think Mike actually stands a chance against me. I'm gonna fucking kill him. Apparently, someone managed to leak footage of the whole thing on an internet forum. But just as quickly as it appeared, it vanished into thin air. It's got everyone wondering what really went down between these two. From what I've heard, the situation got pretty heated even before they started sparring. You know Jake Paul, right? He's always trying to get a rise out of his opponents, and it seems like he was doing just that with Tyson. Apparently, Jake Paul went into this supposed sparring session with Mike Tyson, thinking he was going to dominate the ring. I mean, the guy's got a pretty big ego, right? He's been trash-talking and calling out all sorts of fighters, so it's no surprise that he thought he could take on a legend like Tyson. So, when they started sparring, Tyson apparently unleashed a barrage of punches that caught Paul completely off guard. I heard that Paul was just stunned by how fast and hard Tyson was hitting him. He probably thought he could just dance around the ring and land a few quick jabs, but Tyson was relentless. He kept pushing forward, throwing punches from all angles and putting the pressure on Paul. From what I've heard, Paul was really convinced that he was going to knock Tyson out. He was probably thinking, I'm the younger, faster, stronger fighter here. I've got this in the bag. I can just imagine him strutting into the ring with that cocky attitude. Word on the street is that Paul got hit hard, brutally, multiple times, and just couldn't keep up with Tyson's speed and power. In the end, Paul supposedly decided to retire from the sparring session, realizing that he was in way over his head. Jake Paul, from that moment onwards, decided to train harder, and eventually, after a few months, Tyson and him agreed on scheduling an official fight. He is now rumored to be really convinced that he has everything to humiliate Mike Tyson in the ring. But getting back to today's situation, there are also rumors flying around about some heated WhatsApp messages between Tyson and Paul after the press conference on Monday. It supposedly was some really intense stuff, considering how competitive both of these guys are. Tyson is furious at Paul, and Paul is furious at Tyson. But this time, I'm starting with experience. But make sure you tell Mike that there's no holding back. Whatever, whatever happens, happens, and this is war now. And if he puts me down, I can deal with that. But if I put him down, he needs to be the one making the decision on whether or not he can deal with that. Rumor has it that Tyson is actually worried that Paul might pull out of their upcoming fight. But before we get to that, I need your help. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I need your help. So I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe and help me out. Okay, okay, now let's talk about the rumors of the fight cancellation. Just the fact that he's willing to actually take a chance at Mike Tyson not being able to do what he used to do. Because mm -hmm. that's what he's doing. I mean, think about it. If the stories about Paul getting his butt kicked in the sparring session are true, then he might be having second thoughts about facing Tyson in an actual fight. I can't even imagine the kind of pressure he must be feeling right now. On one hand, he's got his reputation and ego on the line. He's been talking a big game and calling out all sorts of fighters, so backing out now would be a huge blow to his credibility. But on the other hand, if he goes through with the fight and gets absolutely destroyed by Tyson, that could be even worse. It would be like a public humiliation on a massive scale. He'd never be able to live it down. Here now with more, former heavyweight champion, the one and only Mike Tyson. Good to see you, my friend. What's up, Sean? <laughs> uh, listen, will you please promise me you're going to kick this guy's ass and shut him up, please? Hey, I will do just that for you. <laughs> so, so you're going out, you're going to do it for me. And it could seriously damage his career as a boxer. So it's kind of a lose-lose situation for Paul right now. And apparently Tyson is picking up on that. He knows that Paul is in a tough spot. And he's worried that the younger fighter might just decide to cut his losses and walk away from the fight altogether. But here's the thing. If Paul does back out, it's going to look really bad for him. People are going to say that he was all talk and no action that he couldn't back up his words in the ring. It would be a major embarrassment, and it would probably haunt him for the rest of his career. 
So, what's he going to do? Is he going to risk getting knocked out by Tyson in front of the whole world? Or is he going to swallow his pride and admit that he's in over his head? It's a tough call, and I'm sure Paul is weighing his options carefully. But surprisingly, at the press conference of Monday, Jake Paul has unveiled a dramatically revamped physique as he gears up to take on Mike Tyson. Known as the problem child, Paul is set to step into the ring with the heavyweight legend Iron Mike on July 20th. This bout will be contested under professional rules in the Blue Ribbon Division. Typically competing around the cruiserweight limit of 200 Lala Bs, Paul's trainer Shane Mosley indicated that Paul is now bulking up to a weight akin to British heavyweight Anthony Joshua. At the launch press conference, Paul faced off against Tyson and later participated in a promotional shoot where he showcased his new, muscular physique in his fighting gear. Compared to his previous weight, Paul now boasts significantly bulkier arms and chest, likely weighing around 230 lays on fight night. This transformation left fans in awe, with one exclaiming, his entire body type has changed. Holy moly. Another fan added, Jesus, this man is fucking huge. One observer noted, bro looks built weird. Definitely not a natural weight for him, lol. Looks normal at 185, 190 lolly bees. Some fans found his new look intimidating, with one stating, Jake Paul is looking scary. However, not all were convinced, with one detractor commenting, Nah, Jake is not carrying this weight well and he looks like me right now. Paul, who boasts a professional boxing record of 9-1, faces a legend 30 years his senior. Tyson, who hasn't fought competitively since his 2005 loss to Kevin McBride, has still showcased formidable power in training, creating concern for Paul. Despite the age and experience gap, Paul remains confident, suggesting he will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Tyson and even claims he has more power than the former undisputed champion. I'm a natural-born heavyweight, Paul stated. This is what I was born to do. Move up into this weight class and show Mike who has more power because he is underestimating me and I believe I hit harder. I'm gonna make Mike my girlfriend. I'm gonna make sure you kiss me good with those big lips. I'm just so glad to have the honor to step in the ring with one of the most brutal and Michigan, most ruthless champions there's ever been. That's my style, style is impetuous. My defense, defense is impregnable. You know good for boxing! Fuck! That's my boy, the crazy fighter pay! Putting woman's mighty on his pedestal! Look what I've done for this sport! Have a nice fight, Jake. Fuck off. Oh man, have you seen the latest clips of Jake Paul mocking Mike Tyson? It's all over social media right now and people are losing their minds over it. Paul's really stirring the pot and adding fuel to the fire of this whole situation. In these new videos, Paul is straight up imitating Tyson's voice, mannerisms, and even his famous lisp. He's got the whole thing down pat. And it's almost eerie how much he sounds like the boxing legend. But it's not just a harmless imitation. Paul is using it to really poke fun at Tyson and try to get under his skin. It's clear that Paul is really trying to push Tyson's buttons and get a reaction out of him. I mean, can you imagine how Tyson must feel seeing someone like Paul imitating him and making fun of him like that? It's got to be infuriating, especially given the history between these two. But at the same time, you have to wonder if Paul is taking things too far. I mean, Tyson is a legend in the boxing world and he's earned a lot of respect over the years. To see someone like Paul coming in and mocking him so blatantly, it's kind of disrespectful. And it's not like Paul has the same kind of legacy or achievements to back up his trash talk. On Tuesday, Mike Tyson joined his opponent, who will be 31 years his junior on fight night, for a press conference to promote their highly anticipated match, which will be co-headlined by Katie Taylor vs. Amanda Serrano the Cell. The next morning, Iron Mike took to X, formerly known as Twitter, to address skeptics questioning the authenticity of his upcoming bout with Jake Paul. Tyson posted, Press conference at the Apollo Theater with Jake Paul and co-main Katie Taylor and Amanda Serrano, along with two pictures from the media event. He firmly added, This fight isn't scripted as some haters in the boxing community want you to believe. Okay, so now there's a whole new layer to this crazy story. Apparently there are rumors going around that the upcoming fight between Mike Tyson and Jake Paul is going to be rigged. And let me tell you, both of these guys are absolutely furious about it. From what I've heard, people in the boxing community have been whispering about how the fix might be in for this fight. Some are saying that the outcome has already been decided and that it's all just a big money-making scheme. I mean, can you believe that? It's like they're suggesting that Tyson and Paul are just puppets in some kind of twisted game. But here's the thing. Both Tyson and Paul have come out swinging against these rumors, 
They're absolutely livid that anyone would even suggest that they'd be involved in something like that. I mean, these are two guys who pride themselves on their integrity and their love for the sport of boxing. As for Paul, he's been just as vocal in his denials. He's been training hard for this fight and he's determined to prove all the doubters wrong. He knows that people have been underestimating him, saying that he's just a YouTuber who doesn't belong in the ring with a guy like Tyson. But he's out to show the world that he's a serious contender and he's not about to let some bogus rigging rumors derail his plans.